on all the key things that we spoke about in these videos. Nine times out of ten, you've been called in for the interview, and if you really presented yourself as far as you looking to bring value to that company, you'll land that position. And when you do, now that you're in, here's what happens with people. They do all of this work, all this great planning, due diligence, get the position, and they say, I've arrived. Now I can relax. No, that's when you're just getting started. You see, in order for you to move ahead in your career to advance yourself, many people think it's about being the number one producer on the sales team or about kissing the you-know-what of the managers and the executives and neither one of those because nobody likes to kiss up. Yeah, they'll keep them around so they can keep getting information, but they'll never be considered for any serious positions of responsibility. And those that come in and do the least they can get away with, huh, you know, they just end up stuck in a rut and end up facing the same exact situation they did in their other opportunities, but not you. When you step into these positions, the best thing for you to do is always be looking for, how can I make myself more valuable to the organization? Yes, you have a set task and duty that, they, that you're responsible for, but it is always beneficial for you to begin to learn other aspects about the company about the business and about the processes. And the more you familiarize yourself with those other areas, now, yes, you're very skilled in your task that you were brought on for, but if somebody's out one day, if they need some extra assistance in another area, there you are. Now, even though you're skilled in this main area that they brought you in for, but how much higher does your value increase when, man, not only are you able to do that, but you're also able to do that, and guess what? They've got people that are, that are capable of doing two different things pretty much for the price of one. Now you might say, well, Brian, why would I do double work when I'm only going to get paid for one? Ah, don't be so short-sighted because in the beginning it may seem that way. But the more you increase your value and the more a company realizes, man, if we lose this one person, not only do we lose one person good at this, but we also lose somebody good, lose somebody good at that. So in essence, it can feel like we lose two people. So, as opposed to letting this person go, let's think about ways that we can incentivize them, encourage them, reward them, to make sure that they stay loyal to us because we know if they bring this much value to us, imagine what they'll do for other people. And that's the way the game is really played. Folks believe, because I'm primarily involved in the sales business, I travel all around and I do leadership conferences, empowerment workshops, and ultimately train salespeople how to become sales professionals and make themselves a hundred grand and more selling big ticket items being big game hunters but ultimately you have to look for ways to increase your value see there's a difference between college and education college is where you go to kind of familiarize yourself with corporate america or a particular industry or profession that you're interested in but your education begins once you get out here into the real world be willing and it doesn't have to stop you can increase your worth and your value just like that make the decision the library full of free information the internet you can learn how to be and do almost anything online nowadays and in many situations your company has certain trainings and additional workshops and things that you can be a part of but ladies and gentlemen trust when I tell you in order to begin to increase your value and increase your life and make more money and achieve more things, you have to first increase your value. And that's by enhancing and increasing the things that go into your mental Rolodex. You can have anything in the world that you want if you help enough other people get what they want. And that quote was one of the most fabulous quotes I've ever heard by one of my mentors, uh, uh, Mr. Les Brown, and uh, also by uh, Zig Ziglar. Okay, I wanna make sure I give credit where credit is due your family with you put your kids in better schools and you know go eat in nice places and travel you can have all of those things by deciding and figuring out how can you provide value to other people if you really think about it every successful businessman or woman in business is so because they provide a service and provide a solution to the general public 
And so in order for you to have the same success and achieve the things, I mean, who would have thought that I'd be standing in front of you running a successful global training company, generating tremendous amounts of income, make, paying myself a six-figure income and running a business that generates hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars. You couldn't have told me that 13 years ago, but yet here I stand. And I'm no better than anybody out there. The difference is I made a decision that I'm willing to die before I allow my family to struggle, uh, not have the finer things in life ever again. And I'm not just here for us to survive. I want us to thrive. So I'm willing to do whatever it takes, legally, ethically, and morally. If that's reading a thousand books, I'll do it. Listening to a thousand audios, I'll do it. I spend ten to fifteen thousand dollars a year on my own development attending conferences and workshops to improve myself, to increase my value. And all you have to do is do the same. It's a lot simpler than what you think. But it all starts with taking the first step. Even the longest journey begins with the first step. So start your journey today. Now I know some people are going to look at this video and going to get to it. Others are going not. And in the next five years, we'll be singing the same sad song. The gap is getting wider. It's not getting closer between the haves and the have-nots. So which one of those will you be? Will you be somebody that embraces what you've heard? Will you be somebody that continuously follows as we start your journey on the pathway to prosperity? Hand in hand, going to the top. Or will you be somebody that lets it go in one ear and not the other? Sit back and continue to complain. I'll share with you. One of those ways will lead you to prosperity and success. The other one will lead you to pitfalls and poverty. But I'll let you choose which is which. Either one. Hey, if you think you can or if you think you can, you're right. But if you make this decision, which I know that you are, or else you wouldn't be here right now, to take this journey, let's take it. And you keep your eyes and ears out for the next uh, step, program in the process that will really help you jumpstart your life and your career and live a more fulfilled life than you ever thought possible. I'm glad I was here with you. And I appreciate you giving me the opportunity to share this valid and valuable information that is changing the lives of men and women all over the world, as it will you. I'm Brian Maxwell, the success coach for the generation of change, and I look forward to seeing you at the top.